Hello everybody, welcome to your Camp Dusty Beagle status report on the little dogs. It is Saturday, um, I don't even know the date, February 26th, 2022. This is the first time that I have ever done a status report on this particular pack of dogs without my Wrigley. So, um... Sorry, I thought I could do, do this. Oh, I want to talk a little bit about Wrigley and uh, what happened with her that ultimately uh, caused me to make the decision to take her in. Um, she had been getting increasingly weak on her back legs and uh, it was difficult for her to get up. She was anemic and um, that was causing her to just have profound weakness. Um, she got to the point where I could get her up, and then once she worked out her legs a little bit, she was fine. When I came home from work on Friday, February 11th, Wrigley was laying on her bed in the living room, and it was clear that she had not moved all day. She was laying in her own urine, and which was very upsetting to Wrigley because she was a good girl. She didn't like to, she didn't like to make a mess in the house. So um, she couldn't get up. So I, I got her up. I picked her up. I took her outside. I set her down, and she was able to walk a few steps, and then she was down again. And so I gave her some time to work out her legs, like I had in the past, and. It just wasn't working. She she couldn't walk more than two or two or three steps, and then she was down again. And I knew that that was no life for her. And so I wrote on my marker board in my kitchen. I wrote the words, "Wrigley deserves better than this from you." She deserved. She deserved better. <clears throat> Sorry, she deserved better than to sit in her own urine and struggle. So even though we were doing fine with her kidneys in the sense that she was hydrated and she was getting nutrition and everything was okay, she just, she had nothing left in the tank. So I made the appointment um, the next morning and at 11.30 a.m. on Saturday, February 12th. I said goodbye. <sighs> Wrigley will always be one of the greatest loves of my life. She was a once in a lifetime dog. And I will miss her forever. <sighs> so we are trying to adjust here at Camp Dusty Beagle to life without Wrigley. It's been two weeks today. Um, I still hear her. I still see her. And I know it's going to be a while before that gets better. And that's okay because grief is the price of love. I take great joy in the fact that I had her for nearly 15 years. And I had the best dog anybody could have ever asked for. So, <clears throat> sorry. Still a little, still a little on the surface. Um, and there's Bella. Bella's doing great. She, uh, I had an interesting little issue with Bella last week. She was under the covers of my bed and I sat down on the bed and, um, reached over to rub her belly like I always do, and she lunged and put her teeth on my chin. Um, she didn't bite me, but she let me know she intended to. I didn't scold her. I didn't get upset with her. Bella Bella was very much abused um, when she was, before she came to me, before she was rescued by the wonderful people that rescued her. Um, so she's got quirks. She wouldn't bite me. She wouldn't hurt me in a million years. But that was an interesting, uh, an interesting issue. There's Max. Max is 
enjoying life. He's doing all right, wrestling with Spencer. There's Spencer. Spencer is still his obnoxious self. So these guys are all doing all right. Again, everybody's trying to adjust to life without Wrigley. Wrigley was Max's first best friend. We moved out here to Nevada, and we moved in to my nephew's house, and Max was his dog. And uh, he had been banished to live outside because nobody would get up and let him out, so he peed in the house. So they threw him outside in 120-degree weather. So I brought Max in the house, and he became very good friends with Wrigley. So Wrigley was his first best friend. And I know he misses her. He definitely knows something's not right. And there's my little man. Uh, little man's doing great. we got to work on getting some weight off of him. But other than that, everybody's doing well. And that's the little dogs. I'll see you in a little bit for the big dogs.